Li Hang. 3-2 down to Lu Hong Hao in the first round, 1-4-3. 2-0 and 3-2 down to Matt Selt, 1-4-3. And 3-1 down to Stuart Bingham in the previous round, 1-4-3. Well, that has definitely opened the frame up. Yeah, terrific shot. It's one of the few really attacking shots that Judd has played. And he looks a little bamboozled at the way the balls have landed. I don't think Judd can honestly say he's been unlucky because he's had quite a few results tonight. A couple of flukes here or there, but this time I don't know if he's on a colour. Well, that, as you can see, he's not available. So now, if there's no pot up the other end of the table, he's going to have to find a good safety route, especially with the red up there. Trump. Well, up in the top left corner was a pretty safe area. Now he's put the ball back in. Lee Hang's caught. He's got to find a safety shot himself. Which is not going to be easy. He's competed very well in that department this afternoon, Lee, as he has in all departments, but no more important safety jewel than the one coming up now with the state of the table as it is. Red to the left corner, or a safety shot which could take the cue ball down somewhere near the pink, that side of the table. That's what he's playing here. Got good weight on it. Quite tense, actually. As I say, both players have really could not have put any more into this match to, to have got to this stage. One. Very good. Very good. He's knocked in some seriously good long balls today, Lee Hang. None better than that one. Well, he's got his chance now in the decider against the world number one. How many can he make? Just a couple of times towards the end of frames, he's faltered a little bit, thinking overthinking situations. You can't let that happen here. Six. Now that's got the black in play, and the red Eleven. to land on it. Perfectly, what a chance this is.
19. He gets a good angle on the blue here. And he hasn't got it. I'm afraid he's short. He's fuming that he hasn't got that shot right. His next red from there, not so easy. The other side of the blue, simple. Go up and down the table here. Don't want to hit anything on the way through. No, that's the problem. It was finished. 25. Horrible. Okay, he's on the red, and it's a straightforward shot, but it's not an easy shot. All he's got to do is run it in. The problem is he shouldn't be there. Well, your mind can start playing tricks. You think this is the shot that could win me the match, and all of a sudden it becomes more difficult. Twenty-six. Very composed. There was plenty of pressure on that pot. Tough when you're queuing from the side rail. But he passed the test and the break goes on. Twenty-five in front. Aaron Wilson and Jamie Jones have just got underway on table two, by the way. Of course, we're running a bit late. You can watch that match on the Eurosport app. O'Sullivan and Ding to follow at the conclusion of this match here on table one, of course. bit of a stretch on this next shot, I think. 41. Yeah, entirely comfortable, but should be okay. Forty-two. Doesn't miss many easy shots, Lee Hang. He hasn't quite done enough yet. to avoid the two reds below the black. Didn't play to hit them. He really did not play to hit them. He didn't really need to get them out into play. So I can just sense a bit of tension in there now, as, as we've seen already in this match, just at the point where matches are won and lost, frames are won and lost. Just the question of getting the right shot played at the right time. Now he's starting to think about what a good victory this would be. Now, this is a very difficult pot if he goes for this. Goodness me. Can't believe he's going to play this. He doesn't really want that red moved. Amazing what the mind can do, isn't it? Play. He's obviously got through a lot of close matches. This would be... Um, would surpass anything else he's achieved all week, wouldn't it?
So in the end, deciding wisely, surely, to protect what he's got, which is a 48-point lead. Still 83 on the table, though. What a battle it's been. Three hours of thoroughly engrossing snooker. And the match remains in the balance. Good shot of Judd Trumps to get the black in place straight away. That's really a good safety shot that he's played there. This time he somehow puts the black safe again. at one of the more tense shots he's hit. He got nowhere near it. And Trump must read the signs that there is still a some sort of a chance for him in this match. The opponent is starting to show get at the wobbles a little bit. One. It's not a great kiss, not really. Is that not on the blue? Cool. Not sure, what he can do here that's beneficial. I think the reds are all covering each other. Getting the black into play a, a second time might be a good idea. That's what he's tried to do. Got Trump for. Not bad.
That was not too bad now for a possible comeback for Judd. I think that's what he'd be... You know, if he's engaging in a long safety exchange, he wants to ensure that all the balls stay in play. I value colours. You want them tied up, otherwise the chance won't amount to anything. Lee Hang is looking to ruin the table as long as he can here. Good shot, though. Very valuable lead of 44 points, but not guaranteed to win in the match. some good safety being played here and to be honest the whole match both players that side of their game I think has been very good I mean the job that Lee Hang has got to keep Judd Trump out of all people for this match has been going what over three hours and in, in the main he's given him very few chances except off his break off a couple of times yeah Trump only failed with one of his Safety shots against Mark Williams last evening. Succeeded with 41. And today he's only been unsuccessful with four out of 59. But Lee has certainly competed with him in that regard. We're barely halfway through quarterfinals day, of course. One match just underway. Karen Wilson and Jamie Jones and one still to begin. But it follows... This battle, Ronnie O'Sullivan against Ding Zhongwei, the winner of that plays the winner of this in the semi-finals tomorrow afternoon, with the second semi, of course, coming up from 7 o'clock tomorrow evening when we go up to the best of 11 frames, the first to six, for the chance to contest the Stephen Hendry Trophy on Sunday. Pretty good, isn't it? Got the blue in play. I don't know what the shot is here with the red near the pocket. You can't play any sort of a plant to get near it. He's in a bit of trouble, you know. Chad played a good shot there. Puff of the cheeks from Lee Hang. Going to try and get the cue ball up the table and hope that all the balls that are in the way now are in the way for Judd's next shot. Goodness me, I didn't oh. <laughs> Judd Trump. Of all the things you thought could happen there, the blue being knocked in was not on anyone's radar, I don't think. How's he done that? Oh. At least he's left Trump hampered by the looks of things on the red to the right corner. But he's looking to the left side of the table. Can he get back in? He's hoping that that's a big pocket either in or off the other red. Oh, goodness me. He's hit the one place where he's neither potted it directly or off the other ball. Could be end of match. Well, the body language says it all. Tram cannot believe that that stayed out. And look at what he's left with Lee Hang already enjoying a 45-point lead. What a chance now for the underdog to complete perhaps the biggest win of his life. He's been in a semi-final before at the China Championship, but to beat Judd Trump, the world number one who has been so successful in the home nations, that would be extra special.
Bimbal. Bimbal. Well, he's not uh, tried an awful lot there. He's absolutely made sure of that green. You know that he's become a little nervy. Oh. Already a couple of times in this match on important shots late in the frame. But really, you'd think that he would be able to get over the line this time. He wants this black if he plays the black and then one more red. He'll cannon the other red. It's a question of how he does it. Where the balls end up. I don't think he'll be playing it very hard. Just move the red. Well. <laughs> There's a bit more work to be done here. Well. That look says it all. He's got to play one more good shot. The next red puts him 52 in front with 51 on. But as you can see, he's furious that it's as tricky as it is. And the pressure is at its most extreme now. I don't think now's the time to be disappointed. I mean, if he was to miss it, I'd understand it. But he's just going to have to knock this red in and be done with it. End this match. I think he probably can't run it because I think the two reds at the bottom of the table might be a plan. In which case, Chad is still in the frame. And once again, there's no colour in an awkward spot on a cushion to save him if he does miss. And let's trump back in. What a big moment this is in the career of Lee Hang. Chad Trump hanging on to his dreams of a third consecutive Home Nations title this season. And he is going to get another opportunity. He hang twelve. Oh, he is, and that was very, very jabby. I understood the problem. You know, he he had to play it one way. He had to play it that way. But you could feel the tension mounting, shot by shot, as the winning line grew closer. He just couldn't get over the line. Well, I'm sure Judd Trump, when he rattled the red just now into the left top pocket, thought his hopes of winning the Scottish Open for the first time since the Home Nation series began had gone. But he is still just about in with a shout. This has got to go in. I think one thing that Lee Hang can breathe a sigh of relief is now the balls are not very nice for a clearance anyway. A counter clearance would be tough from here. Oh, so close. It's getting very uncomfortable, isn't it, if you're support of Lee Hang here it just he's getting those moments that snooker players anyone watching who plays this game whether for fun or professionally will know what he's going through getting over the line can be very difficult if it means so much to you what? I think that's where he is right now so 50 the difference Trump with colour to come 51 left thereafter and match ball has eluded Lee Hang for the second time he won't mind seeing the yellow going safe no, I'm not sure 
what he played there. He certainly didn't want to hit the yellow. Whether he thought he'd cannon the two reds. Whether he thought he'd play on the bottom red. Finished in between all of it. Now what? Might be able to drop the cue ball in behind the yellow here. Jump, Tom, six. Sure about that shot. The hanger's got absolute guarantees with the red and the yellow being there. He's got a free shot at a red. And if he can slot a red in, Trump would need two snookers. Just a little bit less pressure on this shot than some of the others. Where the balls now are. Yeah, 45 the difference, so this red to put him 46 in front with 43 on, but if he gets the red, there's surely going to be a colour to follow. Wow. Didn't go for it. How about that? Maybe he felt that the cue ball was going to hit the other red, bring it out into play. He'd have loved the snooker on the two reds in the middle of the table. I'm not sure he's got it. This match coming to a dramatic climax. Kyron Wilson's match with Jamie Jones just getting underway. Jones has the first frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan and Ding Zhongwei waiting patiently in the wings to take to this table one at the conclusion of this epic battle, which has now been going nearly three hours and 20 minutes. Well, there's quite a battle on these two open reds here because obviously if Judd could pop them both then it all comes down to the red by the yellow and it could get very interesting. He's played so well, Lee Hang, but uh, there's definitely an issue with him getting over the line. That's a good shot. What an incredible pot that was, but he needs a colour. He absolutely needs a colour. Or else, Li Hang won't have to pot match ball. It will be awarded to him almost. Kind of would be almost a fitting way for this match to end, I think. Judd, if he pots this, he's still in there. It has to go in. Cube was not a million miles away from the middle pocket. Oh. In fact, he's gone in the middle pocket, and that one. is that. Judd Trump concedes and his wonderful run of success in the home nations is over. The English and Northern Ireland Open champion cannot add the third leg of this series. What a victory for Lee Hang. My goodness, did he earn it. Blood, sweat and tears in the end, but he's knocked out the world number one by five frames to four.